first. Extend the legs. Next, thread the rod on the left side out roughly five full turns will get you in the right position for most road bikes. Release the quick release and slide the right rod all the way out. Thread the tension knob on the resistance unit all the way out so that the resistance unit rocks all the way back. Now we'll mount the bike. Position the non-drive side skewer into the cone cup. Close the thumb lever and slide the rod all the way in. Give both knobs roughly three full turns and check tension. If it's still a little bit loose, you can add another turn. Next, check to see if the back tire is centered on the roller. This is especially important if you're using the rock and roll trainer. If not, adjust the threaded rods to center the tire. Once it's centered, close the lock ring on the non-drive side. Next, tension the resistance unit against the tire. Tighten the knob until the roller makes contact with the tire. Then give the knob three full turns. Check tension by grabbing the wheel and giving it a quick tug upward. If it doesn't slip, you're set. If it slips, add a half turn. Do not exceed five full turns of the knob.